Danny, I think we need a break. I've barely been able to experience the single life and I'm young and I want to see the world. You're a nice guy. Too nice. Last week you offered to buy me food. I can buy my own food. It's not you, it's me. I do think this is for the best and I hope you can understand. This is the tragic tale of Danny Summers, an interesting man who has been followed by a cloud of sadness his entire life. Perhaps this was the reason he did not believe in love. It was a fairy tale, an illusion, that didn't make logical sense to him, and yet everyone else around him seemed to get it. He was certain that everyone else was crazy, but he couldn't shake the idea that perhaps just maybe something was wrong with him. Good afternoon, Danny. How are you feeling this evening? I think there's something wrong with me. Fantastic. Good to hear. Have you been eating your vegetables? Always. Do you exercise often? I ride my scooter to work every day. Are you sexually active? Been in a bit of a dry spell. I'll take that as a no. Danny, sounds to me like you're depressed. Depressed? Yes, depressed. Here, take one of these, preferably in the morning, every day, and let me know how you feel. Danny was skeptical on his diagnosis of depression, but he took his pills anyways. He began the day with his usual routine, and as he walked outside, he saw the world in a different light. Even Russell, his neighbor, seemed to be nice for once. Now, Danny would always visit his favorite snack place on his way to work. He had been coming here so long, in fact, they already memorized his order. Three creamers and three sugars with his small coffee. He sat down as he normally did in his favorite spot and took a sip of his drink. When he looked up, he noticed something different. There was an unfamiliar face sitting in the booth across his table and for the first time in a long time. He smiled. He began his day again with his medication, his usual routine, and a beautiful girl on his mind. He tried to play it cool as he realized she was there again, in the same place. But as he sat down and looked at her, he could not shake this feeling he had never experienced before. An odd sense of joy. He began another day on his medication. But this time it seemed to no longer have an effect on him or the world around. He felt lost again. He walked by her once more and tried to stay composed. In a gloomy world, he couldn't help but to smile when she was there. And for the first time in his life, he believed in love.
The next day, he looked at his prescription. What a silly idea. All he needed was her to make him happy. It took a lot for him to gather the courage, but he finally realized what he had to do. It was time to ask her out. Would you like to go to dinner on Friday? I'd love to. Can my boyfriend come? Now this right here. This is the face of a broken heart. An unfortunate feeling every one of us must face at least once in our life. And sometimes, under the wrong circumstances, horrible decisions are made. Yo, doggy. Yes, I have a broken heart. Can I purchase drugs? Meet me at the park, 6 p.m. sharp tomorrow, and use the code phrase. What's the code phrase? You look like you stink, but you don't. Be careful. This stuff is strong. He opened the packet the dealer had given him and placed the drug in his mouth. But nothing seemed to change. And against the caution of the man, he tried self removal. Nothing. He placed a few more in his mouth, hoping that would do the trick. A wise man once said we are on this earth to love and to learn. Unfortunately for Danny, he loved too hard and learned much too late.